echoey because I have my hair done and shampoo went in my ears and now it's just, just a little bit was phenomenal like I just can't I felt so gripped I was literally second row from the front and theatre trips to celebrate doing my show last week um uh hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog i am starting this new vlog out and about today and i'm going to try my hardest to vlog as much as i can because i'm trying to overcome my confidence issues of vlogging in public because i'm heading to london if you couldn't guess and last time i went to london and did two shows today i vlogged a little bit of it when i went to before i was going to and juliet so i'm going to london today if you couldn't tell it's my theatre trips to celebrate doing my show last week um and i thought i'd start a weekly vlog because it's from when after today i've got a three-day week at work and then i've got a four-day weekend so i don't see why not sorry my arm is aching inside because my bag's on it as well but it's fine so i've got a four-day weekend this week so i'm gonna have a weekly vlog but start it off in basically going to london i'm going to see bonnie and clyde today and mamma mia I'm going to see Bonnie and Clyde on my own and then I'm going to see Mamma Mia with my friend Zoe and I'm very excited. Um, I am so excited for today. I'm going down early because I want to do a little bit of shopping in Primark and stuff and like, you know, have a bit of fun and chill time and enjoy London whilst the weather is good and give myself a day out of it. I actually went to London last night and it was a very spontaneous trip. Um, I was at work yesterday morning and decided I booked tickets to see Heathers again for the fourth time. I have seen Heathers the musical four times now and I'm not even sorry. Um, let me see how. Uh, I'll try and hold it. Um, I'm not even sorry about that. So I'm very excited for today though because I've heard so many good things about Bonnie and Clyde and I last saw Jordan, Luke, Gage and, and Julia, which is a completely different story to Bonnie and Clyde. Um, but he did play JD in Heathers, so I am sure he's going to smash it as, he is going smashing it as Clyde, in Bonnie and Clyde. And as for Frances Malley, I don't know how you say no, who plays playing Bonnie, I haven't seen her perform in anything, but she did play Heather Duke, or Duke, Heather Chat and Heather McLamara, Heather Mack in Heathers on the Haymarket with Jordan McGage last year. So I'm excited to see her perform this show. Um, I really feel like after watching her yesterday, after doing my show, I have a more of appreciation for people in arts because it, it's a lot of hard work that goes into it and not just going out on stage and performing. So yeah. But anyway, I'm going to head to town. I'm going to get my train ticket out and get a coffee because I haven't had one yet. And then get my train... Um, I'm going to try and edit a few photos of my phone from last week so I can put them on my Instagram. And what else am I going to do? I'm just going to chill, I'm going to read my book. I really need to update the book vlog because I'm like nearly halfway through um, Daisy Jones and the Six and I'm obsessed so I might update that on the train. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm in London. I'm heading now towards to get to Leicester Square because I really want to go to the theatre cafe for lunch. Um, if there's space, um, so I need to head to Leicester Square from here. I've just done some shopping in Primark and it's not much, not really buy much. Um, mainly had to buy a bag and pair of shoes for my friend's birthday thing. So, yeah, we're going vibrant. I've got a bright blue shoes and bright blue, well, not bright blue bag, it's kind of like a tint. Oh, you'll see when I get home, I'll show you the shopping haul when I get home. Or tomorrow, but anyway, I'm heading to Marble. Try and find a way to Marble Arch Station, underground station to get to Leicester Square. Okay, so I didn't get to have lunch at the theatre cafe because they're packed. I might try. I've got a bit of time before I need to be at a the theatre, and the theatre is literally like right near the theatre cafe. So I need to go and find a shop where I can buy something to get another bag because my primer bag is ripping. Um, and then I'm gonna head 
maybe go to see if I can just get a drink in there or something before I head to the theatre. Um, just because I want to experience it today. Um, if not, that's fine. Um, but I just had much you know, for lunch at Burger King. But one thing I found out is the theatre where Bonnie and Clyde is, is actually... Oh, I'm covering you. Is actually where my show choir masters was in first year. Um, if I remember, I'll pop the video on the one of this one of like my first few vlogs when I started YouTube when we came to London for the show choir competition of masters, um, which obviously isn't happening anymore. Here, like last time I had it was in, in Sussex, but sorry, but yeah, it was. Uh, okay, you want but yeah, it just feels really weird to know I'm going to be sitting in that theatre again um, because the last time I sat in there was for the Masters of the Show class, so it's been cool. Um, but I'm very excited. Um, I was kind of like a bit annoyed I couldn't get a seat at the theatre cafe because I was really excited for it and then I got really a bit, a bit emotional. But I think it's because I was partly hormones are in place because period cheese. So I was so hungry I needed something to eat and I was stressing about where I was going to go for eat because everywhere around here is like fancy stuff. I didn't fancy sitting in a fancy restaurant on my own, so found Burger King because Pret was super packed as well. So found Burger King, got a bit of meal, and it was good. So I'm gonna head Robert Dyer to sit to the theatre cafe. So I'm gonna head to Robert Dyer and try and buy something there so I can get a bag, and then yeah. <laughs> Sunday the 29th of May. Um, I started a new vlog yesterday on my phone when I was going to London. I don't know how much I got because I didn't really vlog as much as I was hoping to whilst I was there but you know what it's fine. Um, so I'm going to give you like a mini shopping haul in this part of the vlog. Um, I probably won't vlog much the next three days especially tomorrow, tomorrow and Monday. But I have work, I get home, I need to eat something and I literally have the space of like I don't know how to get to um, tap classes, so yes, um, but I did a bit of shopping yesterday, which I'm going to show you, but I'm first of all going to give you my round up on Bonnie and Clyde and Mamma Mia. I'll start with Mamma Mia, even though that was the thing I saw last, um, but it doesn't sound like I'm ahead as much as Bonnie and Clyde did, and I hate to say it, but... I did love Mamma Mia, it was so good finally seeing it on stage, it was, we were in the balcony so we were quite high up, um, but it was just such a good show, I absolutely loved everything about it, I think it was fun, it was happy, but oh my god, Maz Murray who plays um, Donna, who I really need to, I, I recognise her from someone, but she just rocked it out of the boat, she, her, 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 when she sang with the one that takes it all, I just like, I, I felt my heart just go, she's so good, she's so good, this is wonky, sorry, I just noticed that, um, she's just talented as anything, and I can't get over how talented she is, um, I, I honestly absolutely loved it, it was so good, so fun, um, to watch, but it didn't top what I saw before that, I saw Bonnie and Clyde in the afternoon, um, the matinee and oh my god was it insane I have been wanting to see it for ages I I heard the soundtrack probably when I was like 18 it was probably around the time I was obsessed with Glee not because Glee did it just because I was obsessed with just, like musical soundtracks 
I know I keep moving this, but it doesn't. I was obsessed with musical soundtracks back in the day. I still am, but I was a lot more obsessed with like, listening to musical soundtracks more than anything at that point. So I made it my mission to watch, to watch, to listen to it, Bonnie and Clyde, and I loved the music for so long. I have like one or two songs I don't like, and one of them being God's Arms are always open. I just don't really care for that song. The story was incredible. Everyone in it was fantastic, but Francis Manley, who plays Bonnie, and Jordan Luke Gage, who plays Clyde. Their acting was phenomenal, like I just can't, I felt so gripped, I was literally second row from the front. And but yeah, I'm going to show you what I got yesterday as I did a bit of shopping before going to the theatre and then I also bought some stuff at the theatre and then after that I'm probably going to get on some energy, I need to edit the weekly vlog from the show week, which feels like ages ago, but it was only last week. Let's just do a little bit of shopping haul. I'll do my Primark haul first and then I will do and my Dice haul because I did that, then my theatre haul. So I went to Primark and did some shopping. First of all, I bought this nice gold bag. Um, it has a strap as well. Um, I'm actually using this for my graduation bag because I think it's really cute. And I feel like it's one of those ones, you know, I don't know what it's called, but I think the Balenciaga bags, I'm not sure. There's a little B on it and, you know, all the influencers have them, they're so expensive. They remind me of that just without the name on it and I like it. I then also bought a blue one of the exact same thing um, for my friend's birthday. And I actually really love this bag, I think it's really cute. Um... And then, oh, get this one out. I bought a pair of shoes for my friend's birthday because her theme is like vibrant and I need it. I haven't got any vibrant shoes. So I bought some shoes here um, for like £10, which I thought was not that bad for a pair of basically bright blue shoes. And they're really cute. I don't know if I'll ever wear them again after that, but we'll see. I'll have them. I then bought some new mascara because I thought I was going to try it. It's only £3. Um, because my mascara, I feel like I'm running, I'm running out, it's drying up. And I need some new ones. Oh, this is actually well I then got a t-shirt, mainly because I wanted a new t-shirt and also thought these are the kind of t-shirts I'd wear to work so it's just a Berkeley top because apparently I went to Berkeley now, I didn't but yeah, bought that for like £10 and then I bought some new earrings, some really cute ones like, I want to say they're like cherries, I'm not sure, the little stars and A's and then like little like tags, stars and A's there um, I really want to start wearing earrings to work because I just do. Um, my only big thing is because I have to have headphones on, I feel like the back is going to seem to find out that that's why. I don't wear them. And then for my first birthday as well, I bought these sunglasses. These are like white chunky ones. I thought I know I'm going to be indoors most of it because I'm going to the pubs and stuff, but like on the top of my head would be cool. And I really like them, so. And then for Robert Dice, because I mainly went in there to buy a bag, but I ended up buying this like razor thing that takes the hairs off like your face um, which is what I needed so this was like £20 which I didn't want to spend but I did um, so yeah I bought this and I've got a bit of a little back in the and then <coughs> yeah, this bag, I don't want to throw away because it's a little bit on it it's all my theatre stuff that I bought yesterday I'll start with Bonnie and Clyde because it was the first one First of all, obviously bought a program because I don't go to any musical without buying a program. Like, oh, look at this. I don't think I've, I don't remember the last time I went to a musical and did not buy a program unless I'd already seen it. So I will not be buying another one on Wednesday because I've already seen it. I'll probably just go. My plan is, and the plan is not to buy anything when I'm there. The plan is to go to London, I'm going to pay for a train ticket, take a bottle, I'll probably keep this bottle and fill it up at work before leaving and put it in my bag, take that in cause I, and then just drink that during the show, that is the plan, I don't want to buy a drink, I don't want to buy anything else like that, 
probably have to buy fade credit to them, but that's fine. But yeah, I so I bought the program um, as one thing, and then I bought this. It is actually a script. It is the body and kind script. I actually had this the Heather's one, and I was like, yeah. This was like ten pound, and I think it pretty well the script. It's not that bad at all. Um, I just I, mean, I think one kind is such a marvelous piece of. I think it tops. For me to say this is really really high praise to Bonnie and Clyde, but I think it's better than Heather's. And people I've told this to do not believe it because I've never said. I've seen Heather's four times now. Um, and I love it so much still. Like nothing, I, I still love Heather's. I always will love Heather's, but this just tops it. And then I went to see Mamma Mia, obviously as I mentioned, and I bought the combo deal, so it's ten fifty for a program and a souvenir brochure. So I got the small program here. The one reason I know they do this is like places like this have been around for years, and Mamma Mia's been around for years, and they've always had the small program and the souvenir brochure. Um, and I think slowly they started just combining it all into one. So a lot of like, the newer productions have only just got the one program, which is like a souvenir brochure, which makes sense, but it's also. I love having a bow. So I got the small program and then I got the souvenir brochure here. Um, absolutely love it. I just love it. And then I finally, the last thing I got was saving me from buying the Love Island one and Love Island research. So I if we want a toy, we'll get one every year. Get a love on a water bottle, so I bought a mummy one that looks exactly like the love on one, just with a mummy on it. So, yeah, I got this and I'm very happy with it to be honest. Anyway, now that I've shown you what I bought, I'm actually going to. I want to make maybe do some editing and just chill for a bit. I do my room really desperately needs tidying, but that might happen um, during the week because I can't bother right now, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna love it this week. I am trying to plan to do this for at least until next weekend because it's a, week, a three day week at work and then I've got the four day weekend. So, yeah, okay, hello. It is, I don't know when the last one I vlogged was, I think it was possibly Tuesday night before. Well, after I tidied my room and I was feeling very tired. Today, I am not really tired. I am just hot. My ears are echoey because I have my hair done and shampoo went in my ears and now it's just, just a little bit built. So I'm going to try and sort that out in a minute. But I thought I'd start to part of the vlog. It is Thursday the 2nd of June. It is the four day weekend. And technically I've only got like three days left of it now because this, the day is nearly over. And most of it I spent travelling to and from Croydon. Um, I went to Croydon to get my hair done. But I'm so happy I did. I feel so much better for it. Um, um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Um... But yeah, I went to Croydon and I bought a few bits that I probably shouldn't have done. I've spent, my, I've spent so much money recently, it's ridiculous, but I'm not even sorry. Um, I went to see Bonnie and Clyde last night again and it's phenomenal. I'm actually planning to write a blog post about that and Heather's. Because, um, and actually all the what musicals I've seen this year. So I'm going to sort plan that today. I've got so many things I want to plan to do for this weekend whilst I'm at home. And actually try to get back in the rhythm of doing things after work when I'm at home. Um, because I really miss having this, like, doing, like, my blog my my youtube and like working on my social media because it's something i've loved i love doing and loved and i haven't done since i started this job really so i really want to get back into it so it's the plan but i can't get over how amazing body and clyde is i'm obsessed with jordan luke gage and francis Marley right now i just want to be them i or i, I literally just watching it yesterday i was like oh, i want to go to drama school just so i can go on the stage and do this but then i'm at, like I think I like doing it as a hobby. I think for doing it for, for me, doing it as a job would be too stressful because 
it is very like if you don't get anywhere you're it, it's risky nothing wrong with being risky i do prefer the challenge but it is also stressful i like i kind of like doing it as a hobby um but it is making me want to go for a main part at some point in the future i probably won't do it for 42nd street because there's gonna be enough like learning how to tap is enough for me it's enough stress for me than doing a main role tomorrow not tomorrow so maybe next year we'll see what the shows are and i might go for the main role then we'll see what the shows are and then if i like the shows and yeah and if anything ever did bonnie and clyde which is highly unlikely but if they did do bonnie and clyde or heathers you know i would be going for a main role if i was heathers i'd go for all the girls i'd go for veronica martha <laughs> heather chandler heather duke heather mcmara um just because I love it so much, so yeah, and I would be going for Bonnie. I probably wouldn't go for Blanche in um, Bonnie and Clyde, not because I don't like the character, but I think she's just not someone I could play. But you never know. Bonnie is someone I just love, and I, I just love it. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. But it is making me want to go for a main part. Um, I'm obsessed with Jordan Luke Gage. He's just adorable. He's gorgeous. He's stunning. He's talented as. It's amazing anyway i'm gonna stop talking about that because i could gush about him and francis and Mary for so long but it was it was just amazing first or second time around no no different i can't like i think it's even better the second time around and i really want to go see it again before it shuts in july so i'm going to try and go in july um not june in july so i got like a go in the last month so it feels so sad but i haven't got my theater trips are not over yet i'm going to see the legally run on Tuesday and I'm so excited because I've loved that. So I probably listened to Bonnie and Clyde and Legally Blonde soundtrack around the same time. Two completely different musicals but two musicals I had in love with the soundtrack for so long ago that I'm like I need to see this on stage um, so I can't wait. Yeah stop. But anyway I'm going to show you what I bought today before I get on with my edit continue editing show week vlog um, because I want to get that up for Saturday and work on other things um it's not waterstones bag but it's not all from waterstones i did buy two books though um but i bought a pink bandana this is to go for my friend jazz's birthday next weekend um but actually i really like the bandana anyway um but it's to go on my hair for that because i didn't know what to do with my hair i thought actually this would be cute got a pink outfit pink nails blue bag blue shoes it would do and then I bought some new socks, but instead of just getting black, plain black ones, I decided to just go for a little bit more colourful. Um, polka dot Because why not? I mean, they're hidden by my shoes, because they usually wear boots, and they're hidden, but they're different to black. And also, because I always lose my black ones, because I have too many black ones, and I put them in my drawer, and I just get lost. These ones might stand out a little bit more. And then I bought some earrings. And to be fair, these were a very last-minute decision, because they were just when i was waiting in the queue because the queue was super long and i knew it was going to be because it was bank holiday and the only reason i went in there was to waste time because my bus was going to be ages i thought only half an hour i actually ended up being an hour after the time i checked because the bus i was waiting for didn't turn up really annoying but it's okay um but i bought some earrings they're really cute and i just thought they're different because i don't usually wear like hoop earrings i wear more studs um, but these are kind of like cute, not too big hoops. I do wear big hoops on nights down and stuff, but yeah, I really like them, they're really cute, and definitely gonna wear them at some point. And then I went, obviously, well, not that, I did do the water show shop first. Let me do that one. I bought two books that actually are series, they're a set, um, because I've been seeing a lot of people on. TikTok, I was saying TikTok, but more like YouTube, the booktubers I watch have read them on the, like, on the Goodreads because I had to have them on my Goodreads or they've read them for videos or they've spoken about it in videos and I've been wanting, one of them has been on my want to read list since January but I was like I can't buy it, I can't buy it, I can't buy it and I saw it in Waterstones and I had to buy it but I'll show you but when I bought the books they gave me a bookmark so it's got Beautiful World Where Are You by Sally Rooney and Conversations with Friends, really wish that I had normal people on it because if i think i've spoken about it but i'm not a massive fan of conversations with friends i've tried to watch the series i, I just haven't got really into it but we'll, we'll try and continue that soon 
but I still want to read this book at some point but it's not because conversations with friends let me down because I was expecting so much more from it I am not in that rush big of a rush to get this book but it came with a bookmark free bookmark can't complain and then the book series I bought was the fight it's that it is the dream dreamland billionaires there's a it's i think it's a set of three i'm not sure if the third one is out yet um but i've got the fine print which is about rowan and zara um on my goodreads the picture on the front is actually of a person and i'm very glad these books have the ones i've got i've not got a person in it it's just the fine print um it is the fine print is the first book in a series of spicy standalone novel novels featuring three brilliant billionaire brothers so you could read this one or read the second one without reading the first one um for it to make sense which sounds good um i'll just read the blurb for you so for rowan rowan i'm in the business of creating fairy tales production companies five star hotels theme parks everything can be mine if i renovate dreamland hiring zara was a great plan until i fell for her by the time I realised where I went wrong, it was too late. People like me don't get happy endings, not when we're destined to ruin them. Zara, after submitting a drunk proposal criticising Dreamland's most expensive ride, I should have been fired. Instead, Rowan Kane offered me a dream job, the catch. I had to work for the most difficult boss I'd ever met. Rowan was rude and completely off limits, but my heart didn't care, at least not until I discovered his secret. It was time to teach the billionaire that money couldn't fix everything, especially not us. And I, that literally pulled me in. I was like, okay, this is this sounds good. This sounds good. And then the second one is Terms and Conditions. This is about Declan and Iris. Um, at the top it says the Dreamland billionaires are back. So for Declan, I'm destined to become the next year CEO of my family's media empire. empire. The only problem, my grandfather's inheritance clause, fulfilling his dying wish of getting married and having an heir seemed impossible until my assistant volunteered for the job. Our marriage is supposed to be the perfect solution to my biggest problem. But the more we act in love for the public, the more unsure I feel about our contract. Caring about Iris was never part of the deal, especially not when breaking a heart is inevitable. Iris, my plan to marry De Declan was simply in theory. Move in together, throw a wedding, have a baby. We set rules to prevent any kind of issues, ones that were meant to be broken. No matter how much Declan tempts me, but what happens when our fake relationship bleeds into our real one? Falling in love was never an option, at least not for me. I honestly cannot wait to give these to a read because although they are obviously technically a series, but they're, they're, stand they're standalone novels in the same kind of series, which I love the sound of, they're two different books. They haven't kind of copied it by the sound of it, which I like because sometimes people do standalone books in the ser series and it kind of copies the other one for slight difference and, you know, you don't need that. So I can't wait to give them a read. I don't know when I'll be reading them because I've still got a long list of books to read on my um, bookshelf. Um, but I will get to them, um, hopefully this year. And yeah, I'm really excited though because these are this is just something I've wanted to read for ages. I haven't seen it in Waterstones. This is the first time I've seen it in Waterstones was today. So I'm very happy about that. Anyway. I am now going to put my headphones on, I'm going to do some editing, work on some stuff and yeah I will talk to you guys later on potentially. Not got much happening today, so I need to charge my batteries though because I want to film a chat to get ready with me for tomorrow, tomorrow night to like, give a life update. Yes. Good morning it is, what day is it? Friday. Yeah. The, oh my god, it's the 3rd of June and it is 11 o'clock I've been to town, I've had no coffee yet which is why I'm tired where am I? I need to open my naked drink because um, I was going to get coffee but make coffee but it's too hot at the moment for coffee um, so I'm drinking an energy drink instead because why not I really need to stop spending money though because I'm, I literally have a shopping problem. That's refreshing. I did buy a few things today and I just wanted to show it in the vlog, like three things. Because the other things are like tablets that I needed. And eye drops because my eyes are really bad in the mornings and I need to sort it out. 
I went to Sam specifically to buy a few things. I did buy a Father's Day card, because that's coming up. Um, birthday cards for my friends. Because I'm seeing one of them tonight and the other one next weekend, so I need to write their cards. And yeah, I went to get like, I need to get a few bits of food for my lunch for work this week because I'm trying my hardest not to buy food next week at work um, for lunches because I just don't see the point and because I'm going to have to get like dinner on Tuesday out um, and I actually wanted to pick up McDonald's on the way too. I say that but I don't want to because, oh, I don't know. I'll figure that one out when it gets to it. But yeah, um, I'm so tired. My brain is a bit like fried. Um, but yeah, I bought just a few things like lunch food and stuff, but I've also bought three things. One thing I'll show you first because I'm on, I need to tell. Yeah, I bought Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reads. I am reading Daisy Jones and Six at the moment and I'm obsessed with her writing and I was just like, I've been wanting this for ages. Kept, I put it in my basket on Amazon, I didn't buy it. I saw it in works, was going to buy it, didn't buy it. And I was like, it's £4.50 in the same because I had to buy it. So... I'm on a ban from buying books after this because I've got nowhere else to put any more books. Like I can't fit them on my bookshelf. The little box I have by my bookshelf, I've got not no space for it. So this is the last book I'm buying until I get through these books. So I've got to get through them first. So I did that and then I bought two other things from Sainsbury's because I really like their jewellery, especially their rings. So I bought this gold one, which I thought was really nice because it's just like two rings. I don't um look like they joined in one which is good because I like that idea. Um I just love that one. And then I bought this silver one which is really cute. Um which has got like, three little gems in. They're obviously not like real gold or silver, they're cheap. Three fifty and five pounds. So not bad. But anyway, today I I've, I've got a great here. I'm going out for drinks tonight. I'm potentially gonna be doing a chatty get ready with me tonight. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Probably will just to give her a little bit of a life update. Um, but before that I'm just going to chill I'm going to try and finish editing the vlog to get that up tomorrow um, I need to what else do I need to do what more for my brain I wanted to start writing a blog post that might happen, might not and yeah I'm just going to have a chill day and I want to read some of my book that is another thing so yeah I will speak to you later when I figured it all out. Okay, hello, welcome to Saturday the 4th of June. It's 10 past 12, I've just filmed a video which took me about an hour and a bit to film. And I know that a lot of clips are not going to be in it, so probably what I've said, but it's fine. I'm really happy with it either way. It was just a nice chatty one about theatre that the shows have seen, like a review. I am really today having a chill day. I'm going to do some reading in a minute because I can't be able to do anything else on my computer for a bit. Then I'm going to do some, I'm going to do a blog post, I think, write some of my book because I really want to get into doing that. And I am going to edit some of the vlog, well, try and finish editing the vlog to get that up for today. Um, because I didn't finish yesterday, I was just having a bit of a weird day. So that's the plan. Um, last night was really fun. We went to drinks at the Red Line. It was just really nice because it was different to Spoons. It was more relaxed. It was more... Just, there was music there which felt really good and I just had a really good time and we are planning to go see Bonnie and Clyde on the 1st of July, me and two of my friends. So yeah, should be good. It should be good. Like for our nap today, so probably going to be up late which means I'm going to probably read a lot more of this but I'm not complaining because this is a good book. I really like that this year I have been hooked on reading because as much as I know I've been working a lot, reading is something that's really helped me a lot this year and especially when I'm feeling a little bit low, getting lost in a book is always good. But yeah, I'm actually ordering food from across the road. I've ordered one piece of chicken and chips. Um, I actually bought my parents dinner today because I'm a, nice daughter, I'm a nice daughter for once. Okay, I've just had a delivery. Well, I don't know when it came because it was delivered this afternoon. Like... It must have been but because there was no knock at the door I didn't know that it was delivered but I ordered three things of machine when I got paid the other week because I needed to get an outfit for my friend's birthday next weekend when I go to Portsmouth and I bought some new shoes for graduation because 
Um, and I wanted some new shoes. I didn't want black ones. I wanted when I saw these other ones. I thought they would be perfect to go in my graduation outfit. And I did order another pair of shoes. Let's start with the shoes because. So I've got these like little heels, they're like, they've got like studs on them and they just look gorgeous. I am obsessed with the detailing, with the little cross. I think these are going to be really cute with my dress. Um, I just think they're really adorable. They're not too high like last year's ones. I still had the ones from last year. But oh my god, were they high. They were insanely high. And I honestly think, don't know how I survived in them as much as I did, but these are stunning. I think they're gonna fit me. Let's just try. And they fit me perfectly well. Yeah, they fit perfectly, so I love that. They are cute. I then ordered a phone case, just one, um, because I don't need any more, but I wanted more. I It was between this and the black one, but I got this one because it's just very, I feel sophisticated. I'm trying to open it. It's very nice to open. So it's just this phone case, like a cream and gold phone case. I'm literally going to put it on my phone case now, my phone now, because I love it. I think it's literally like £1.50 as well, so worth it. And then finally, what I bought was um, an outfit for my friend's birthday, because next week um, I'm going to Portsmouth. So excited. I miss Portsmouth so much. And I'm going to celebrate Donna's birthday and my friend um, Jazz's birthday. Um, so the scheme, the colour scheme is like to go a bit like, bright and out there. Oh, it comes with a belt. I don't know if I forgot about that. So I ordered this like bright pink, like oversized, like dress shirt thing, um, and it's got a belt that goes around it. And it's just, I'm gonna wear it with my black tights just because I think, or my clear tights just because I, to make sure I've got tights on. And yeah, it's just, it's bright. It is. It goes with my nails. I. This is what, this is for, and I just think it's gonna be. And then I've got the blue shoes and the blue bag. So. Yeah, it's perfect. So I'm very happy with the purchase. It was a very worth worth it purchase, and it only cost twenty quid to get all okay, thirty quid to get all of that. So not that bad. Um, but anyway, I'm now gonna. I'm not gonna end the vlog obviously because I'm gonna do it tomorrow. But I started editing this vlog because I thought why not? Uh, whilst I'm sitting there doing nothing. But yeah, I'm just in a really I'm in a really good mood today because I've had two fake uh, my eyes watering. Um, and I'm just ready for a chill day tomorrow before going back to work on Monday. But I am going to try and get the 1st of May, once I book the tickets, get that booked off work. So that I can, um, don't have to stress about work as well. Though. But if not, I will work. I don't really mind. Oh, I actually love this. This just makes my phone look a little bit more expensive. No, I've okay, got a more expensive phone case. Um, okay, good morning. It is 9.45 on Sunday the 5th of June. Which means it's the last day of this vlog. It's also my last day off before so I start up and go back and work for five days before I'm off to Portsmouth next weekend. So I wouldn't be vlogging this week because I, I don't even have any time at home and the evening's really free. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but today I am aiming to one, finish the book. Because I need to, I'm like 80% of the way through it now. Um, two, I just want to do some just stuff that I probably wouldn't be able to do during the week. So, yeah, I'm just having a chilled kind of relaxation day before I go back to work um, tomorrow. If I go back to work tomorrow, but yeah. Um, but I need to go to town to meet my mum after church. I wasn't planning to go anywhere today, but I need to, so. Yay. 
Okay, good morning. It is not good morning, we've done a good morning. It's now quarter past ten, it's literally half an hour since I last um vlogged, but I just watched Anna's Anna's video um with her saying I'm going on Love Island, which is obviously clickbait. We knew she you wouldn't if she was going on Love Island she wouldn't be able to post it. Um so we all know she's not going on Love Island but it she's gone around a villa and it's really cool and it's just reminded me that Love Island starts tomorrow but I, I really don't think I'm going to have much time this week to watch it like tomorrow I could technically watch it when I got home from TAP um, if I stay up to watch the first one on repeat Tuesday I can't I'm going to Legally Blonde unless I have COVID but basically I'm going to COVID test today just because I've been feeling a little bit rough between today and yesterday not like fully rough but you know just a bit uh, so i'm also going to take a test to make sure i'm okay so i'm going to be on legal road on thursday oh my god this clip makes my vlog 20 minutes long oh my god um i meant to be going to legal road on tuesday so that's going to be late then wednesday i've obviously got work as well and then i'm meant to be seeing my friend in the evening thursday i have the launch night for 42nd street with esper which i want to go to because i want to like Get all the information and hear about the show a bit more in depth um, and then fr Friday my friends are coming over and we're gonna play some Animal Crossing, watch Walking on Sunshine and have a good evening and then the weekend I'm in Portsmouth so Sunday will be the day I have to get home from what Portsmouth and yeah catch up on it but we'll see But yeah, I'm just watching some YouTube this morning. I think just to catch up on some YouTube, and then I'm going to go to town meet my mum. The weather's looking miserable, but you know it's fine. Meet my mother. Do what I need to do in town. Come home. Put my headphones on. Edit. Read. All that stuff. But I'm actually because I've seen how long it's, long it's already been. Like just by the Saturday end and the Sunday clip when I do my shopping haul and stuff. Um, I'm going to end this vlog here because I ain't doing anything fascinating today that I need to show you. Um, so if you do enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, please comment down below, please subscribe and I will see you again very soon with another vlog or video, who knows.